Well, today is May 11th, 2023. Got off of work, I'd say a little early today. Pulled two 11s. <laughs> Started a new job. Actually loving it. But we gotta make time for fishing. Today I'm using my Aldebaran BFS 2022. My Kayong Freestyle Rod. I'm using an inline spinner. It looks like the river's gone up a little bit. I'm wearing the boots my son got me, so I'm gonna try to walk real tight. Yeah, the water level is actually up. Dad, I'm wearing boots. <laughs> I'm gonna try this little pool up here if you can see it. It's the afternoon, the hatch has already begun. I don't know if you can see that, but the last hour and a half been very productive for me. This pool seems like it's drying up a little bit. I'm gonna stay down here. It's gonna be real quiet because I want to fish this area here. Once again, I'm using a Rockstar lure. So let's see if there's anything in this hole. You'll see some footage if I catch some. No biters, no takers. Worked underneath this bridge. I don't think you can see that. That hatch is full. It, there's tens and thousands of bugs. It is, yeah, this. I don't know if you can see that in the water. Hopefully, the fish are biting. Let's try this pull up here. Get back there. Oh, that's beautiful right there. Oh, right as soon as they hit the water, oh, this, oh, wow, I got an acrobat over here. He hit as soon as it hit the water. I'll be careful, I'm only using four pound test. Oh, yeah, he, there he is, he's a jumper, he's a jumper. Come on, buddy. Don't go underneath that boulder. Yeah, he's trying to. He's trying to. Oh, nice river smelly. Let's follow him down a little bit. Look at the hatch. I don't know if you can see that. He's surrounded by a hatch. Come on, buddy. And there he is. I got stuck on the side of the face with that stinger hook. Nice Fox River smallmouth. Look at that. Beautiful fish. Turn back in the water. <sighs> Great. Thank you, buddy. Hey, my dad. On the same river, but I'm working in another spot. There's a drain pipe that comes in here. I got my personal best smallmouth. Three plus. Didn't have a tape, but he was a big one. I'm gonna check. Oh wow, it's changed a little. There's nobody here, which is good. We're gonna give this area a shot. See what we get down here. I'm gonna be quiet. There's that drain pipe I was telling you. That was a big one. You see that down there? Work this area. I'm gonna be quiet. Oh, you can get some real nice distance with this thing. I'll work that through here. Casting upstream and just working it through this area. Ooh. Oh, I had a hit. Another hit. Oh, there he's on. Not very big. What is he? Oh wow. A white bass. Not very big. He hit on that stinger hook. He just would have missed him. There he is. Let's get him back in. Work this spot. I'm just trying to fan cast it. If I don't catch anything in the next 10 minutes, I'm gone. Ooh, that one right there. Yeah, my 
sure what he is. He's playing kind of awkward. But let's see what he is. Let's get him in. He's not very big. Another white bass. These guys normally hang out in school, so they're in the area. That's a good sign. It's getting a little bit bigger. Not much, but... Actually, I'm afraid of these hooks. I gotta be real careful. I've gotten... These are really sharp. There he is. Not very big. We'll get him back in. I switched over to this paddle tail. I think it's a Z man. I'm not sure what it is. No, Short juice jig. It's like an 8 ounce head. 16 ounce, I'm sorry. Let's see what we can get down here. So I switched over to a Kytec. The other one just didn't have, it needed a tail, I think. It was just kind of, it wasn't, I don't know, I didn't like it. So I'm gonna try this Kytec out. I think it's a Kytec Impact. It's getting line twist with the spinner bait pretty severe, but, so I stopped using the spinner. Let's give this a shot. So I'm at spot number three at the Aldeburn Four Pound Seagirt Base X. Using a Kytec swim bait, 16th ounce head. Oh, it looks like there's people down here. I have to kind of work my way through this area. Got the whole store left. Let me go fish down further. Mom off. I was working the shoreline. Kytec, three inch Kytec. I gotta change this line. I got a line twist, a lot of line twist, but I'll keep at it. I'm just working the shoreline through this area. That Kytec's done. It's pretty much two or three fish are done. Going to these Slim Swims, Pearl, Z-Man. So get this tag, I'm gonna get back to fish. one too feels like I can't tell what it is keep the pressure on him he wants to go downstream I got I'm turning off it's a small I'm thinking feels like a better one he's in the current I'm trying to get him out of the current over here working towards the edge Oh, 
Wow, that's what I'm talking about right there. It's a nice one. On the slim swims on that pearl. I should have had this tied on earlier. Those, those hooks go in deep. Oh jeez, I think I get my old I got my Leatherman on me, my Leatherman Wave. Put some slack on the line. There we go. There he is. Nice look at him. Huh? Nice and fat. Looks like a male. Let's get him back in. There he is. Thank you, sir. There we go. You can see him in there. He's okay. about that last hour of the day that hatch happens not very big but i get excited no matter how big they are a snag. Yeah, work behind that bridge piling perfect cast see if there's anything kind of hanging around the edges up there oh yeah there we go Look at that for a No matter what size they are, they're all nice. You made my day, buddy. Okay, okay, okay. Easy, easy there, easy there, buddy. Uh, there we go. So you gotta only use a four pound test. Slimson was killing it. Let's get him back in. This guy. Day. Not a bad day. Got a few fish. My buddies over here. 